Hi, welcome to today's video. In this video, I want to show you how I choose to cash out all my earnings from NiceHash. Uh, what I usually do is I use Coinbase and I'm going to show you how easy this process is. So for the first portion, I'm going to show you how to do that in uh, iOS NiceHash app. And then later, I'm going to show you how to do it in the browser in case you're using a Windows based computer. So we're going to grab our phone, open the NiceHash app, identificate. Uh, then we're going to click on wallet at the bottom and then we're going to press on the withdraw select the Bitcoin wallet and it's going to show us our options I already have my coinbase link tap on coinbase and I'm just going to type in the minimum amount allowed which is 0 0.0005 Bitcoin and I'm going to press next to cash it out it's going to give us the overview and then we'll let it know that we understand look everything over one more time and then we just press on the bottom to withdraw our cash and then it lets us know that it's pending and then we view our transaction to make sure that everything is correct as it should be so we press on that click on that we're going to press on withdraw and then we're going to enter our amount i'm going to cash out everything i have in my wallet and it's already pre-selected to coinbase as you see the minimum amount is still 0 0.0005 bitcoin so you can't input anything lower than that it just won't allow you to cash out so i'm going to press use max just so i can cash out the whole amount i have in there and then we're going to preview the withdraw and as you can see the network fee is zero so we don't actually have to pay anything and it doesn't matter on how much bitcoin you're cashing out it's still going to be zero to coinbase and we're going to let them know that we understand that it's irreversible transaction and i'm going to press on withdraw right here and all right and that's already telling us that it's a successful cash out it's going to take a little bit and as you see it's showing pending but the whole transaction is completed uh it's going to come into my account just like in the app within the next five to ten minutes or so that's usually how long they take for me and now if we go back to our bitcoin wallet as you see it's showing the withdrawals uh that are pending and you'll see the open order is a little bit lower than that right here which will tell you exactly how much and where you have going and that's pretty much it and after that it will go directly to your coinbase now you could leave it in your coinbase but if you wanted to cash it out or if you wanted to send it the fees on just regular coinbase are a little excessive so what you could do is open a coinbase pro wallet which is free to open as well just like coinbase regular um, and you can transfer between those two with zero fees now if you wanted to sell at coinbase two hundred dollars it will charge you three dollars which is a percent and a half for the transaction fee at coinbase pro it would actually be half a percent meaning that for 200 dollars of transaction you would only be charged one dollar now i don't know about you but i'd rather pay one dollar over three dollars and it's just a couple of clicks and works as simple as that you can also send the money from your bitcoin wallet uh, on Coinbase Pro to any offline wallet, which is the best way to store it, something like Ledger Nano X would be a great option. Um, but if you're just looking to cash it out, um, I would still go to Coinbase Pro and cash out from there. Now, as you may notice, the scene has changed a little bit and that's because it's a week later and I realized I did not record any sort of process on how to actually go from coinbase to coinbase pro and i'm going to show it right now on my phone so i'm going to grab my phone so we're going to open coinbase pro real quick got in and then on the bottom we're going to press on the portfolio it's that little time looking symbol and then we're going to press on deposit we're going to choose that we want to deposit bitcoin so we press on btc and it will give us three options which is the crypto address coinbase pro portfolio and the coinbase.com we're going to choose coinbase.com and then when we open it it's going to automatically have our regular coinbase connected i'm just going to uh, transfer over half roughly half of how much i have on my coinbase.com so i'm going to type in 0 0.0005 yeah, zero to five okay and then we see fees are zero processing time is instant and the limit is unlimited so you can transfer virtually 
any amount that you need. So we're going to complete that, and it's already in my account, as you can see on the top left, $2.90. Now, that's about as simple as that. Uh, you can't actually sell less than 0 0.0001 Bitcoin, if I remember correctly. Let's see. Let's check that out. Yeah, it doesn't let me do anything, but I'm going to transfer more money from the website portion of this video. And then we're actually going to be able to sell it. So let's wait on that. So we're going to open uh, pro.coinbase.com. We're going to go to deposit on the side here on the left i'm going to press that it's going to give us our options on what we want we want bitcoin we're going to select coinbase.com just like before and then we're going to say max amount because i just want to transfer everything that i have in there uh, same thing no fees no limit instant we do that we process and here it is you can see on the top left that we have 676 as a total balance for this portfolio already and now I'm going to show you how to sell it for United States dollars. So we're going to press on Bitcoin to United States dollar transaction. We're going to press on sell. Then we're going to type in whatever amount we want. I just want to max. And you see that the fee is only three cents because the transaction here is cheaper than Coinbase. On Coinbase, you would probably have nine or ten cents. And then we just place the sell order. And it's already done. Now we go to portfolios, which is on the top right. And you see that we have a, a six dollars and seventy three cents in dollar. You can see the transaction right here. And now we're going to put it in our bank account. So to do that, we're going to press on withdraw. We do that. And then we select we want to withdraw a United States dollar. You have multiple options, including moving it to a different uh, pro portfolio or Coinbase. But I'm going to use a bank account. So we transfer it over to the bank account and it already has my information preloaded. You select whichever bank account you want to put it in. Uh, I'm going to put the most amount into my chase. Uh, you see that it's free uh, and we just type in our digital code. Usually it says that it's about three to five business days, but I typically see it in my account the next business day, which is pretty nice. And we're just going to press done. And there it is. It's just as simple as that. Now, if you like this video and it helped you figure out which route to take to withdraw your money from your mining operation, uh, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And this video should give you a general idea on how you can actually save about an extra percent versus Coinbase because not a lot of people use Coinbase Pro just because they don't know about its existence. And it's free. Uh, you just open an account on Coinbase Pro uh, with your same email and everything is going to be already connected and you'll save, you know, whatever amount you'll save depending on how much your transaction volume is. And the fees actually can go down depending on your volume. The more you trade, the more money you save. And on this note, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.